So I'm just sitting here editing my vlog from over the weekend and I realized that my intro video that I did last Friday, it's Tuesday now. Um, I don't know what happened. It's like, it, it won't pull up. I can't find it anywhere. And I had to delete all the videos on my camera because I was running out of storage. So anyways, I'm still going to post it and edit it, but this is just like, a, <laughs> I'm just doing this intro as I'm trying to edit this video and realizing that none of this is probably going to make sense. But but I started vlogging on Friday. I was just going to vlog my weekend. I can't even remember what all I talked about. Um, Josh has been gone on a storm trip for about a week and a half. He comes home today. Um, one of the things that I do talk about in this video was um, we're getting pictures done this Sunday. I am planning to get branding pictures done for myself. I actually had these scheduled last November and then I got my botched Botox and I couldn't smile. And so I had, I just had to keep postponing it. So here we are almost August and I'm finally getting them done. My smile is finally back to normal. Thank goodness. It took like seven months. Um, so, and then if Josh is home and he doesn't go out of town for work again by Sunday, which I'm really hoping he doesn't, me and him are going to get a few pictures as well, because we haven't had any pictures taken since like we got engaged besides our wedding picture. So, um, the photographer is super sweet and was going to do a few pictures of just me for branding and social media and my portfolio and stuff. And then a few pictures of me and him. So this week I'm planning outfits. We're also leaving in three weeks to go on a trip. I talk about how on Sunday I was going to like book hotels and do all that. And I didn't do any of it. So, but it's on the list for tomorrow since Josh is coming home. But um, yeah, we are going, I'll share more about that in the next vlog once we have everything booked so I can share our exact tent itinerary and all that, but we leave in three weeks. So the only thing we have booked is a whale tour and our flights. So I have to book a rental car and we're leaving. We're going from like a Tuesday to Monday. So I have to, I have to book hotels. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to make this really quick to do a little intro since mine completely got deleted and show you what I did this past weekend. So enjoy. All right, this is the couch without covers on it. If you watched my other video, I had a bunch of covers and I was about to leave so I couldn't show you guys, but I just love it so much. And I love when the covers aren't on it because I forget how pretty it is, but with these maniac dogs, we, we can't not have a cover, so. <laughs> uh, but this is the ottoman that came in today. I, I like it. Um, I don't feel like we needed it. But it will, I already say that, aesthetically, I don't feel like we needed it. We do need it for practical purposes because I lay this way on the couch so I can see the TV straight on, but my husband lays this way, so he has to turn his neck. So we'll be able to like move this over here, that way he can lay straight. So for practical pur purposes, we did need it. Um, but um, I really wish it was a square one because I would probably have replaced this table and just had the ottoman and maybe like a little tray on top of it so it kind of served as a table for like decor but that's the only size I had but anyways it works it's good but here's like just a close-up you guys this material is so soft I just love it so much um so yeah just wanted to share that with you guys I told you the next time I uncovered it I would but anyways all right I'm gonna stop um procrastinating and go work out hi guys happy Sunday I am going to set this camera down. I was trying to find a good angle to talk. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. So Gunnar got my shirt the other day and he was just playing like he likes to steal stuff, but he doesn't really chew. But I had put it on him as a joke. And so he started biting it because it was on him and he was trying to get anyway. So this is um, a shirt Gunnar actually made for me. So <laughs> I just hate to throw it away from that, but I forgot about it until I just saw it in the camera. I just want you guys to know what that is. <laughs> like I got attacked um but I had just bought this shirt from Target it's a workout shirt so anyways happy Sunday I'm like standing because I was gonna going to show you guys some stuff from Amazon in a minute um I just realized how to adjust the camera on the tripod so I don't have to like dunk down anyways today is Sunday July 23rd I did not vlog at all yesterday and then yesterday I got up and I did all my like to do's and then I went to my nephew's birthday at the river, came home and I had to do my second workout because I'm doing phase one of 75 hard and then I kind of just took care of everything, fed everybody, made dinner and it was raining so then I just chilled and I watched Still Magnolias like 
pretty much for the whole night. I think I'm going to finish it. I only have like three episodes left, so I will probably finish that tonight. But today I'm doing like a Sunday reset. Um, I'm about to go get groceries. I just made a meal plan. I'm washing my sheets, doing some laundry, um, cleaning the whole house. I forget what else. Oh, and I have got to plan outfits for pictures this Sunday. What I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to shower first and try them on, but two things I got on Amazon was these like high-waisted shorts. Anyways, I just wanted to change up some shorts. I bought, I think I shared this on another YouTube video, I bought some shorts like this. I don't know what style you would call this, but I really liked them. And so I wanted to try the high-waisted strap. You guys can see it. So I'm going to try these on a minute. I got them, up, got them on Amazon. I will link everything. If things, Anything is either in my Like It To Know or, or my Amazon storefront. And then I got this flowy dress. I'm excited. I got it for a trip. But then I was thinking if I like it, I can also wear it for pictures. Um, so I'm going to try that on in a minute and show you guys. But I just wanted to jump on and say hi. And I'll kind of take you through my day today because I'm doing like a whole reset uh, what else I was going to tell you? So I was doing some research this weekend. If you guys, I can't, I think it was in the last video I talked a little bit about my health journey and Lyme disease and how I'm kind of dealing with like chronic inflammation and trying to work through that. And something told me on Friday to just research intermittent fasting and Lyme disease and intermittent fasting and how it can help with chronic inflammation in general. And so I've kind of gone down that rabbit hole and I've decided that I'm going to start trying intermittent fasting. I've done it. I've like dabbled in it a few times over the years. I've never been consistent with it, but I feel like when I did try it, I felt pretty good on it. So, but just researching specifically Lyme disease and how it can help with that. Um, and also chronic inflammation, because that's really what I'm dealing with. I am dealing with chronic inflammation and bloating and gut issues from what we are assuming is Lyme disease. I don't have like the normal Lyme disease symptoms. So anyways, I'm starting out today. So I'm going to try to not eat until like 10 a.m. and then be done by six and do like the 16, eight hour fasting thing. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. Today's the first day. It's like 9.30. I'm a little hungry, but like I'm staying busy. So it's not like horrible. Um, and I just had coffee this morning and so now I'm just going to make sure I'm done at six, which most days I feel like that's pretty easy for me, um, to eat in that time frame anyways, but I just want to be very cautious of it. I'm not like eating less or anything like that. Still eating the same food. It'll just make, I'm just making sure I'm going to do it in the eight hours. So I really hope that, um, I'll notice a different difference from that, but I'll definitely keep you guys updated, but that's what I wanted to mention. So I was doing research on that and then I was trying to meal plan and I'm starting it today. So I'll keep you guys updated. Okay. I still don't know if I love this dress. I actually got a shower and completely forgot to wash my hair. Like my hair is so bad. So that's why it's still up. It's so greasy. I don't know what I was thinking because I really wanted to wash it, but I was just in a rush because now I'm going to get groceries. Anyways, I don't, with my hair down, I feel like I might love this dress even more. I was thinking this would be good for our trip or even just pictures. The only thing is like the bra situation, you know, I've got big boobs and I just don't, I don't know. I don't know about this area up here, but other than that, it's super comfortable. It has pockets. And like I said, I feel like with my hair down and makeup, I would feel a little bit better. But I just went and ordered it in a green. And it's going to be here by Tuesday because I feel like maybe if it's a darker color with my dark hair, I might like it a little more. I don't know. But also, I got these shoes. I haven't worn them yet. I haven't gone anywhere to wear them. But they are so freaking comfortable. I got them at like a rack room shoes or something because I just needed some new wedges. And they're so freaking comfortable. So anyways, wanted to show you this. I don't know if I love it. Stay tuned. So you guys, these shorts that I just showed you, they are amazing. I'm so excited. I love that they're high-waisted. Um, they're very true to size. I usually wear a large. I got a large. They fit good. I have thick thighs, so they crunch up just a little. But overall, I feel like they're perfect, and I'm going to go buy them in every color. Quick grocery haul from Publix. Bananas. Two things of Bonza pasta. It's my favorite. Rice avocado oil mushrooms oh my gosh these are my favorite vegan bites they're so good fruit I got raspberries and blueberries I'm doing these um it's like these salmon caesar pitas and I found these that are gluten-free so I'm really excited 
And then I also found these. There's another recipe I want to try later this week that is like a like a wrap slash lasagna. Um, but I didn't know if they had like wraps that would be gluten-free. And I've never tried these. So I found these. And they are like 11 grams of protein. Caesar salad mix. And then regular just lettuce for salads this week. Salmon. Cheese. I also got these wraps because I know I love them. Dookers. Um, I absolutely love these and I've been on a buffalo chicken wrap lately kick. So I got that those just in case I don't like these. Plus I want to use these for something else. I got a Lani. They didn't have my peach flavor. It's really sad. Oh my gosh. I'm not even cooking anything. What are you doing? I tried these last week for the first time. This was my favorite. The dragon fruit flavor. So good. So I got two more of those. Peanut butter marinara because I have oh my gosh I have two recipes this week that I'm doing marinara so I just got a big thing of it ricotta cheese and eggs and that's it I wanted to show you guys I wrote my meal plan out for the week on this thing I'm getting better about this and I've got like four different new recipes oh. I want to try for dinner um I will link because I found them all on Pinterest I'll link the red the websites in the um just, oh my gosh in the descriptions but one is the pita caesar salmon one is like a chicken parm kind of like recipe um a vegetable ziti but i'm gonna add chicken that's what i need the marinara and then a buffalo chicken casserole for breakfast i'm gonna do like fruits eggs and a, maybe a smoothie and then lunch is either gonna be a salad or tuna or my salmon bowl which is like my go-to i just i never it just never gets old so anyways that's what's on the menu for this week i think so hard because i literally had two bags over here i forgot about and didn't even show you guys this was another thing of lettuce because they were two for seven spinach is for a recipe um that i'm making greek yogurt feta rotisserie chicken is for like two of those recipes i showed you guys and then i've been seeing people try this so i just got one so i could try it but got really good ingredients so I thought a, a good little snack anyways I was like why is Duke barking what does he smell it's this rotisserie chicken he smells it and he's hungry huh this is what he does every time he smells food After I started this video, I realized how ridiculous I look. I've never looked in the mirror. I'm about to go. <laughs> this is my cutting the grass uh, outfit. It is so hot, so I always wear this hat to just protect the sun. Sunglasses, I wear a mask because my allergies are so bad when I cut the grass. And then I just have this mismatch outfit. So anyways, and this hat's like breaking. Anyways, that's what we're going to do. Okay, my camera is out of storage, so I have to figure that out. I don't know how to do it. So anyways, it is Monday, July 24th. I'm ending this vlog today. I didn't end it yesterday because I ended up like mowing the grass and doing outside stuff and I was dirty and gross, so I did not come in to plan outfits or anything. So I wanted to include this in the vlog. So anyways, doing this now and then um, pictures are Sunday. So this is what I was thinking, just more of like, this is kind of oversized, but I think these like just having some like from here up, not necessarily the whole outfit. Um, I don't know. I'm going to send a picture to her today, my photographer and see what she says. But anyways, these are for headshots, branding pictures. I love this blazer and I have never worn it. So I was thinking this could be cute. And I just got this bodysuit from Pink Lily. Um, so this is kind of like outfit number one and honestly, I'm just going to probably keep it simple and take off the blazer and just wear like a white tee for other pictures. So let me show you. Okay. And this is the other top I was thinking about for just my headshots. It's not a bodysuit. I got it on Amazon. Obviously it would just be like from the waist up for pictures, but it has these little ruffle things. So I just thought that was kind of cute, a little bit more like fancier than just a plain tee. And then I'm thinking that shirt. And then I'm thinking the dress that I bought yesterday. And I did show you guys, it came in. I bought another green one, wearing one of those with um, the pictures for me and Josh. 
And then, oh, I also got a blouse from Amazon. So all that's supposed to be in here tomorrow. So I think I pretty much have it. I just wanted like th three or four looks just to keep it simple. It's going to be outside and it's freaking hot. So it's like, we're going to want to get this process done as soon as possible. Anyways, I'm going to end this vlog now because I feel like at this point I'm just rambling. Um, this week, I think Josh is finally coming home tonight. And we have pretty much a chill week. Probably go out on the boat. It's supposed to be really pretty. Um, and then hopefully he stays home until Sunday and he'll make it for our pictures. If not, I'm still going to get them done and just go with the two looks I'm talking about with this shirt and a blazer. Because, again, I really just want some probably from head up. But I don't know. The blazer with the jeans is pretty cute. So I'll definitely share them with you guys when I get them done. I'm kind of nervous because I have not had pictures in a long time. And I don't know. I just get, like, not self-conscious to take them. But I feel like I get nervous for what they're going to look like. And, like, I, if I don't like them, I'm not going to post them anywhere. So it will it be a waste of time. So I just hope that I feel confident in the way I look when I take them. And I love them enough to use them. So anyways, um, yeah, but anyways, I hope you guys have a great week. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm so glad you guys are here. I appreciate you watching.